Hi, I'm Waldick Dillo, I'm Professor of Endocrinology and Metabolism at Imperial College London. I'd like to share with you some of the data that we've been working on with the naturally, hormone, naturally occurring hormone called kisspeptin in women with infertility undergoing IVF treatment. And we've carried out this work here at the NIHR Wellcome Trust Clinical Research Facility and here at IVF Hammersmith with our colleagues at Imperial College Healthcare NHS Trust. Infertility is a major problem. It affects one in six couples. And fortunately, IVF treatment is widely used and effectively used to treat these couples to help them have children. However, IVF treatment is not without its risks, and I'll come on to these in due course. The key concepts during IVF treatment start with the injection of follicle-stimulating hormone, or FSH. And this is used to make the follicles grow. However, at this stage, the follicles are still too immature to be collected. In order for the eggs to mature, the eggs need exposure to the hormone, luteinizing hormone, or LH. And this is what happens during a normal menstrual cycle. However, during IVF treatment, the most commonly used trigger uh, for egg maturation is the use of the hormone human chorionic gonadotropin, or HCG. And HCG acts directly on the ovaries' LH receptors and effectively triggers egg maturation. However, because of its long half-life, it can cause excessive stimulation of the ovaries and result in the condition called ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome. Ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome, or OHSS, is a complication of IVF treatment and is due to excessive stimulation of the ovaries that results in fluid leaking from the blood to other organs, for example, the lungs, the abdomen, and this can result also in kidney failure. So OHSS is a med major medical problem can be fatal in severe cases and occurs in women who are otherwise very healthy undergoing IVF treatment. So we really need more effective natural physiological triggers for egg maturation during IVF treatment. And this is where kispeptin may help. Kispeptin is a naturally occurring hormone and for the last decade or so we now have strong evidence that it potently stimulates reproductive hormone release naturally. And we carried out studies in healthy volunteers in females who, were other, who had normal fertility, and we were able to show that administration of kispeptin could cause a stimulation of LH release. And importantly, the stimulation of LH release was greatest in the pre-ovulatory phase, just prior to ovulation, during the menstrual cycle. So this led us to hypothesize, or, or think that kispeptin might be useful uh, as a trigger in IVF treatment. And unlike HCG, kispeptin acts higher up in the reproductive pathway at the hypothalamus and causes the release of the endogenous hormone, gonadotropin-releasing hormone, or GnRH. This should then lead to a surge in LH and a more physiological uh, trigger for egg maturation without the complication of OHSS. And so we hypothesized that kispeptin may be a novel trigger for inducing egg maturation during IVF treatment. Patients received recombinant follicle-stimulating hormone, or FSH, from day two of the menstrual cycle to stimulate follicular growth. A GnRH antagonist was used to prevent premature ovulation. Once three large ovarian follicles had developed, a trigger injection was administered to replicate the normal rise in LH required for making the eggs mature and ready to be retrieved. Instead of using HCG, which has a long half-life and therefore risks overstimulating the ovaries, we used a single subcutaneous injection of cuspeptin. 36 hours after cuspeptin injection, mature eggs were retrieved and fertilized with sperm. Embryos were incubated for three to five days before one to two embryos were transferred back to the uterus. A pregnancy test was carried out 12 days later. Blood sampling was carried out prior to and up to 12 hours following cuspeptin administration. 53 subjects were randomized in the study and 24 subjects in each group received 6.4 and 12.8 nanomoles per kilogram. So moving on to the results. Here we have the serum LH following cuspeptin trigger injection at 6.4 and 12.8 nanomoles per kilogram. And you can see that the serum LH peaks at approximately five hours following injection to over 40 international units per liter. Importantly, we've shown in this study for the first time that cuspeptin effectively triggers egg maturation in IVF therapy. The primary outcome for this study was development of mature eggs, and this was achieved in 96% of participants. 92% of participants had at least one embryo for transfer back to the uterus. And importantly, 12 healthy babies have been born following cuspeptin administration in this study, 
and the first baby born is shown in the slide. So to conclude, our studies show that cisplatin can be used as a novel physiological trigger for egg maturation in IVF therapy and our future work will now assess the efficacy of cisplatin in women at high risk of ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome with a view to improving the safety of IVF treatment for women in the future. I'd finally like to thank the funders at the Medical Research Council, National Institute for Health Research, NIHR, and the Wellcome Trust for funding this study. And I'd also like to thank the participants who participated in the study.